everyone, my name is Coach Kira and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to take you through some intermediate stretches which are going to help us improve our flexibility. Now these are all going to be shoulder based, so we're going to improve our shoulder flexibility. Please find a space, follow along and we're going to get started. So firstly we're going to start with some dynamic stretches, which is circling your arm backwards and then change arms and both arms we're going to circle them forwards this time and then we're going to change direction good see if we can put one arm forwards and one arm backwards now Okay, let's change direction. If you do have trouble with this, try and put your arms out in front of you and you're going to make small little circles, both arms in the same direction and then get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and then eventually one arm will go forwards and one arm backwards. You can do this the other side because it works both ways and you just get bigger and bigger and then your arms will circle in the right directions. Now we're going to give our shoulders a roll backwards and then we're going to start swinging our arms forwards and back. Okay, take it out to the side, in and out, just trying to warm up our shoulders as much as we can. This time up and out, then back to out and in and slowly down back to swing in forwards and back. Okay, one more quick roll. This time we're going diagonal, so clap your hands together and open in a diagonal direction. And really pull that chest open and then close, feel it in your shoulders when you pull your arms back. Okay, moving on to our static stretches now. So we're going to bring one arm straight up across our body and the other arm pulls it in tight. You should have a nice stretch in your shoulder. You want to hold it here for about 8 to 10 seconds and then relax. And we're going to change sides now. That's it, hold it there. Okay, moving on, we're going to now put one arm up above our head. Try and touch the back of your neck. You're going to bring your other hand over to touch your elbow and push your elbow down. You should have a nice stretch underneath your armpits. And change in sides. Hold it for a few more seconds. Good job. Okay, coming onto the floor now. So we're going to start on our hands and knees. We're going to put our arms out nice and wide. And we're going to lean one shoulder towards the floor. So you want to have one straight arm and one bent arm. Hold it for a couple of seconds and then change. Now you can repeat this a few times before we move on. Okay, good. Now, still on our hands and knees, we're going to put one arm behind the other arm and then lean your shoulder onto the floor. This can be quite tricky. Then you're going to try and put your shoulder that's in the air onto that other arm. So you might not be able to get all the way down, but just go as far as you can. Good, now we're going to do the same again on the other side. So one hand behind your arm, shoulder on the floor, and try and get that shoulder in the air down onto that other arm. Excellent, well done. So moving on, we're going to sit down on our bottom now and put your hands behind you. 
Then make sure your little fingers are touching each other and slide your bottom as far as you can forwards without your little fingers coming apart and just hold it there. You'll feel a stretch in the front of your shoulders now. Good, hold it there for a couple seconds and then come up. This time we're going to do it with our hands apart so our fingers aren't touching this time. You should be able to go a little bit lower. Hold it there. Good, and come up. So for this next exercise, we need to lay down on our tummy. We're going to lift our arms up off of the floor. So we're half of an arch shape and we're going to pull our elbows down towards our back. So we want to lift our hands as high as they can possibly go to increase that stretch. This is a stretch and strength exercise. You want to do about 10 repetitions here. And then we're going to take our hands out slightly. So we're in the shape of a Y. Once you've done 10 of these, we're then going to take our hands out even further, so we're in the capital T shape. And we're going to lift up as far as we can backwards and then pull our elbows down. Once you've done 10 of these, you have a little rest and then repeat your I's, Y's and T's three times. Okay, for the next stretch, we're going to need a partner. So see if you can grab someone that's in your home and they're going to help you. You're going to lay on your tummy with your arms up. They're going to come over and pull your arms up nice and slowly until you say stop. Once you say stop, you're going to hold it there for about 20 seconds and then come down nice and slow. Then give your arms a quick shake and you can try one more time. Hold it again for 20 seconds once you say stop. And then remember slowly down. Okay, well done. Moving on for this next exercise, we're going to need a chair or a surface or something that you can easily lean on to help us with our stretches. So we're going to firstly kneel down with the chair in front of us. You're going to put your hands on the chair and you're going to push your head towards the floor. So it needs to be high enough so that you're not touching the floor without feeling the stretch. So make sure you can feel the stretch underneath your armpits. If your head is touching the floor, then cross your arms, put your elbows onto the chair and then push down. And this should help and you should get a deeper stretch. Hold it for about 20 seconds and then come up and give your arms a big shake. Okay, we don't need the chair anymore, so make sure you put that back where you found it. But we do need some sort of rope. So I found this one from a dressing gown. But you can use a tea towel, you can use a scarf or even a broomstick. So we want to take a nice wide grip on our rope. And we're going to pull this rope over our head and then back in front. Over our head and back in front. Now you want to try and do this four or five times. And if it is easy, bring your hands closer together and then try again without forcing it over your head too much and also without bending your arms. So you don't want it looking like this. Once your hands are in a comfortable position, you're going to try and do at least five to ten of these and you want to do that four times. Make sure when we do this we don't arch our back like this. You want to try and keep your back straight as possible so that the stretch comes from your shoulders and not through your back. Make sure you don't have your hands too close and you're trying to force the rope over your head because you could hurt yourself. So make sure you're nice and comfortable and you can still feel the stretch. Good. And for our final stretch today, we are going to lay down on our back. Make sure you have enough space. We're going to put our hands and feet in, ready for your bridge. Mind your hair out the way. And for our bridge, we're going to firstly put our feet apart. 
to try and focus on stretching our shoulders and not our back. So we're going to push up in your bridge and the aim is to try and get your armpits over your hands. So you're pushing your armpits forwards and opening those shoulders. Now we're going to do rocking backwards and forwards. You can do at least 10 and come down. Once you come down, you're going to rock backwards and forwards in your tuck shape just to give your back a stretch in the opposite direction. Okay, getting ready, we're going to do it again, this time with our feet together, so it stretches our back as well as our shoulders. Now this is really good to practice so that we can improve our bridges, which are going to help us with walkovers and all different kind of gymnastic skills in the future. With your legs together, it is very challenging, but keep practicing and it will get easier. Don't forget to rock in a ball once you're finished. Okay, that concludes our video. Great job to everyone who joined in at home and followed along. Keep up the good work, keep practicing this as much as you can because it's really gonna help with your gymnastics going forwards. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up if you can. And remember, keep smiling and point your toes. Bye.